Hey guys, we're back on the cantilever again, and uh, this time I want to just linger around a little bit more on the maximize stiffness design and what that means also for our forces. So, um, I did a first optimization with 200,000 newtons uh, as a design load at the front here, and this is what it came up with, right? So, with 10% of uh, volume constraint. Then I halved um, the load, so 100,000 newtons. And then it looks exactly the same. Why is that? Well, if you just look at it, um, you had 10% of distribution and the goal is maximizing the stiffness. So the raw amount of the force, if it's a singular force, has no effect whatsoever on the topology optimization result. Let that sink in. Um, if you change the load, from a thousand to one hundred thousand or so, and it's a single load. There's no difference in the design, because the maximum stiffness design is still the same. The topology is still the same. However, if you have two loads and you just increase one, so it's the relative difference between two loads and both acting, or you could also say the combined vector of uh, the load. If this direction is changing, then it has an influence on the design proposal, but not if you just scale up a load and if it's a single load. Also, if you have two loads and you scale them up um, proportionally, like the same amount, then that uh, resultant is not changing in direction, then it's also the same thing. So bear that in mind if you have maximized stiffness optimizations going on, then the amount of force has no influence on the design proposal. Let's go over to the other side of things. If you have minimized mass, and if you then double the force, for example, because of the safety factor, which is related to stress, which is related to the force you apply to the model, it has an effect on it. Can I show it to you? Because I not, did not uh, do those two optimizations, but um, this has definitely an effect because the stress is dependent on the force and so you have this but with maximizing stiffness with fixed volume constraint no chance so just bear that in mind if you have optimization same is valid also um, for material changes if you just change the material here from steel to whatever plastic or so you have a highly reduced young's module but there's not really much different for here because even though the stiffness is much decreased. It's the same thing as if you would increase the load or decrease the load. It is changing the performance and displacement of the structure, but it does not really change the topology optimization result. But I will show that in another video. So that's all for today. Have a good one and um, see you next time. Bye guys.